What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Einger Brewery, and they are out of Eying, Germany, and this is their Maibach. So this is a, a German Maibach that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs at the time of review. This bottle is approximately three months old. So this is one of the few uh, beers from Eyinger that gets distribution to the United States that I've never had before. So I've never had this one before. Uh, my box are one of those styles here in the U.S. where you don't see them a lot. You might see like a local brewery have them on tap or something, but you don't see them uh, packaged and bottled or canned. And I have not had a ton within the style, but what I've had within the style I've enjoyed. So I'm expecting this one to be quite good because it's Eyinger and they brew awesome beers. And I have not reviewed a beer from them in almost four years on the channel, and that is on this guy. I need to review more beers from them. So I'm gonna pick up some others this year and review them as well. Even if I've had them before, gotta get proper reviews. So I'll start with one that I've never had before. And uh, this is technically a spring seasonal. Uh, you know, it's three months old, which is pretty fresh when it comes to imported German beers here in the US. You don't usually get them all that fresh. So let's give it a pour here. Uh, this style is basically like a Pell uh, Bach. Um, you know, it's going to look more like your typical lager, uh, but yeah, you don't see them again too much here in the U S but they are pretty good. I enjoy them. Um, but if you're going to, you know, ask me what like my favorite Bach is in terms of styles, always going to be a double Bach, just how it is. Anyway. Yeah. That's crystal clear. Beautiful looking pal lager, uh, has a really nice deep kind of golden color to it, almost tinging towards orange in person on camera. It's probably just going to look like a fizzy yellow beer of some kind. Has just under a finger of a bright white, uh, nice creamy, you know, properly. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's like a proper, proper logger head, we'll say. Good carbonation, as you can see. Clarity is fantastic. Looks beautiful. Let's get a nose. Ooh, that's nice. Has a big fruity kind of sensation to it like red apple, um, pear, maybe a slight citrus tone, but there's a nice like bready kind of um, undertone, like a toasted white bread. A little bit of like a honey sweetness as well. Wow. So the, the sweet kind of like fruitiness that hit me initially is kind of starting to die down. Getting a little touch of like a sulfur note. Yeah, the fruitiness is kind of crazy. Because a lot of the German lagers, you don't get a substantial fruitiness out of them. At least I don't personally. This has a substantial fruitiness. From, again, citrus to apple, more of a red apple to pear. But I like that honey toasted kind of white bread. Has a nice like earthy, I'd say more like an earthy kind of, is that floral? Like an earthy floral, almost grassy kind of vibe. It, smel it smells like I want to crush 7,000 of these. The fact that, based on the nose, this is 7% is mind-boggling. Because it smells like it's going to drink like it's 4.8% or something. Awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Prost. That's nice. Oh. Wow, is that dry, too? Man, the fruity notes in this. It's just kind of, again... I. Having, you know, had so many German style lagers over the past year and, and trying some authentic ones and remembering how some of these box, the mine box specifically, I don't remember being as fruity, but it just should be something where I haven't had a ton in the style. So it's not something that I'm accustomed to. Buying this is like medium, higher side of medium body, 7.0%. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, the mouthfeel, it's crisp. It's really clean. And it's very refreshing. Like, it's a, the body and mafia are really good. The taste isn't overly complex. The nose was a little bit more complex. But the taste, up front, toasted white bread, mixed in with a little bit of honey. And then I'm getting red apple, more to the core of the apple, and a little bit of pear. Citrus didn't carry over as much. That's the front half. Passes through. It starts to kind of dry out on the palate, becomes full on dry. But there is this like earthy, grassy kind of bitterness too. Back of the palate, it's earthy, it's grassy. And it has like a mild to moderate bitterness, smack dab in the middle. This is more dry because it's like almost a full on dry finish than it is bitter. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this one a lot. Again, I don't think 
my box are going to ever be my favorite German style or anything, but I can appreciate a good one, and this is pretty damn good. Yeah, I, I can easily, right now, I'm taking smaller sips to kind of, you know, process what I'm uh, tasting. But if, like, I was just off camera drinking this, it, it, this might be gone almost. Like, it's so easy to drink. Um, but I don't think it's, like, anything mind-blowing to me. It's just really good. That's sometimes all beer needs to be is really good. Nyinger knows what they're doing. So it's just a really good beer. 7%. I think this is the most um, surprising thing about this one. A little bit of a warming into the chest. Very minute. But outside of that, I can't tell that, like, alcohol-wise, that this is, like, bigger than, like, 5, 5.5%. Five like, it drinks incredibly well for um, the ABV. So highs the alcohol well. Body mouthfeel are really good. And the taste, while, again, not overly complex, doesn't need to be. That's not what the style is all about. Yeah, rating-wise, I mean, after the first sip, I had started to calculate it, but, like, taking into consideration the ABV is hidden and, and the body mouthfeel are great and the taste is pretty damn good, like, I'm going to have to go higher than I thought I was going to. So the uh, Iyengar Maybach, I have no issues giving this beer. We'll go low 4 to 5. I'm going to go 4.15 out of 5. This is just a great beer. And on the back here, it says, bold, strong, robust pal lager. Yeah, that's, like, without question. So if you see this one, and it should be showing up by now, but by the time you see this review, it should be on your shelves locally or it should be soon. Give it a go, especially if you want to try a little bit of a higher ABV pale lager from Germany, authentic, that is pretty damn well made. I think you'll be surprised. Like if you pick up a four pack of this, so we'll go to price point availability. I paid like four bucks for that bottle. It's 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. So was that 330? Yeah, 330 mils. Um, for four bucks, you might say, eh, I, you know, I could get some local stuff for like, you know, 10 bucks and get, you know, a bunch of them. But this is, again, this is quality through and through. So I would say at least grab a single if you can. If not, grab a four pack. I'd, I think four packs are like 14 or 15 bucks. But again, you have to understand it's an imported German beer. So it's not like, you know, the brewery down the road brewed it and just, you know, you just had distro to your local beer store. Like we're talking about over the pond, <laughs> you know, into Europe, bringing it in. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but I still think that's a good price. Um, and the uh, and it might even be cheaper in your neck of the woods. I'm here in Buffalo, New York. Shit's expensive because it's New York. Uh, and availability, it's Iyengar. It's one of the bigger German imports. You should be able to find this at most bottle shops across the U.S. Um, yeah, I, I, ho I hope other people out there try this uh, based on my recommendation and what I'm saying about this one because I think it's a damn tasty good beer and I can't believe I didn't try it before. Uh, but here we are reviewing it, trying it, and enjoying it. 4.15 out of 5. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. I just think it's a damn well made of my Bach, probably my favorite within the style. And uh, I'm going to seek some more out, whether it's, you know, domestically brewed here in the U.S. or some other German imports. I need to try more in the style because it's a damn good style. Anyway, to the next one. Cheers and prost.